What's up, guys? Climax Combo here. I'm Licious Kids. I'm Checkers. And today we have another Leaks of the Weeks for you guys. Just going over more Kobayashi cards. Um, got some pretty interesting stuff, but we've seen most of the double R's now, so just one more left to go. Um, but nonetheless, uh, still a very interesting week. It's all coming together. We're getting closer and closer. And there's some pretty, pretty cool things I've been thinking of. Stuff I want to try, but we'll get into that later. To start things off, the first day we have this zero zero Toru. When five hundred power, when she's played on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a level two or higher, send it to stock. And when this card gets sent to the waiting room from the stage, you can pay two to search for a human or a dragon character. So right away, um. I think this card is pretty decent. Uh, in some of these builds, I think there's going to be a lot of level 2 and level 3 cards. So the chance that you're going to hit a stock with this on play is fairly likely. And uh, it makes her cost when she goes to the waiting room that much lower. So you have an easier time plussing with this card in a lot of these builds. And I think this is going to be a pretty useful card later on. Uh, it'll make... The value of this card will be more apparent the later we go to, in this video, I think. But I'm a little excited for this card. Yeah, I think this card is actually pretty good. If it goes off, you're only paying one when it dies to search, which mm -hmm. is kind of nasty. And as we know, yellow has a good chance of writing stock soul because of the 2-1 Toru. And if you do play the stock soul and her effect goes off, you plus for free, which is kind of nice. So... If any, at worst, it's a top check too. So mm -hmm. I do have high hopes for this card too. I think it's nice. And next up, this card's not balanced. This guys. card, it, we're <laughs> we're in a new age of why Schwartz. This new card, two one Kana, sixty five hundred power, <laughs> spammable plus brainstorm. You you just pay one, mill four, grab a grab a character if you hit a climax. This is the first spammable brainstorm I can recall. Yeah, I mean... I mean, the pluses. We were joking before with the Misaka in, in Railgun. The one spammable brainstorm, every time you hit, you oh. choose one of your opponents, I think, level one or lower characters that send to waiting room, yeah. or it's cost zero. Uh -huh. The first, quote-unquote, spammable plus brainstorm. But this... This is actually <laughs> the first plus spammable brainstorm. Don't have to rest her. Mm -hmm. So you can just keep paying one, milling, and every time you hit, plus one is... What is, what is Bushiro thinking? This is... Mm, this is crazy. We've, you know, last week we were saying the Kana build needs a lot of hand size to kind of pop off. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the answer? Yeah. <laughs> is this too powerful? <laughs> I don't know. Is it too late in the game to be using? Does... Having infinite hand size matter in white shorts? I don't know. I don't know. But it's yellow. If you run stock soul, then it's like you could plus for free every turn, right? If you just pay one, mm -hmm. mill four, plus, and then stock soul, keep doing that. It's mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. kind of wild. You use it with the two one, you use that with the zero zero total, get a free stock, pay one, mill, search. That's kind of wild. You can set up like crazy. I know. I think this card is potentially busted. We've never seen anything like this, so I do think there's potential in this. Is this why this set doesn't have standby? Like a real standby? Getting this out level 1 is too broken? Maybe. I don't know. I guess only time will tell, but yeah, definitely um, maybe potentially broken. And... <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately something not broken <laughs> this double r red todu kana and kobayashi 2k uh, at the start of your opponent's attack phase if all your characters are human or dragon you may mill one if that card is level two or lower during this turn uh when this card gets front attack you can return it to hand so Honestly, yeah, this card's kind of kind of whatever. I mean, 
it it's 2k which is not that high it's not crazy low i guess you might be able to kill some things um and the mill it has a good chance to bounce back to your hand because uh in some builds i don't think you're going to be having too many level threes so most of your deck is going to be level two or lower so i think it is a very consistent card that might bounce early on but i don't i feel like there's it's not like doing enough for you you also have to hit character you can't even hit event it's not a two or lower card so if you hit oh, climax yeah. or event then it just whiffs mm -hmm. which kind of sucks and if this card did like something on attack then i guess it's like your opponent has to respond to it eventually right maybe yeah. i mean it'll pressure them attack more to play. yeah if that on play or on attack then it'll pressure your opponent to respond to it but the fact that it doesn't they could just side against it and then you still take the same amount of soul damage so the only thing i can see this be cool against is like against level one climax combos that require a reverse and then this will bounce back to your hand and then your opponent will be sad i guess but <laughs> a lot of the new climax combos don't need to reverse so yeah i this this card sucks i, th I think it sucks <laughs> yeah. there are a lot better zeros you could be running but are there really i think so you got the td toru you got the zero zero brains from kobayashi you got but like as a a front an attacker something that you're gonna play to use to kill things there's almost nothing except the t told you you can't really kill things with 2k power i know but this is all there is <laughs> no there's gonna be something better <laughs> you can at least run the 3k vanilla no i don't think this is good either but i'm <laughs> i don't know it's just like why the rarity on the plus brainstorm this and this should have be been swapped. R. Yeah, this should not be. This should not be a double R. This should be a common. Uh, oh well. And this next card is crazy broken, guys. Gold sack mm -hmm. for the win. So you see, Kobayashi's got all these things that require stock. Oh. The answer is gold. Four gold bar or no four sack four stock soul. New meta right here. All right, and for this next day, they leaked that. 1-0 double arcana the red that combos with the gate we already reviewed this card um a couple weeks back and we won't go over it here but this next card kind of has to do a lot with it so this other 1-0 a uh, rare arcana also red all your other human or dragon characters get 500 power when she's placed on stage you can discard a character to search for that double r 1-0 kana and you can rest this one to give that double R one oh uh one K power and plus one soul. So I think uh this card does make that kana a little better. The most difficult part about that combo is that she has to reverse something to get it going. So this card definitely helps with that. Uh, 500 global and giving her one K uh can help and it makes it more consistent the fact that she is a pretty much bond for her um and the plus one soul can be nice i mean you get an extra bit of damage early on i think it, was, it makes the one the level one kind of double r a little better mm -hmm. and i think we've seen like we've seen like the other have we seen other cards that give power on attack to other characters yeah, yeah there, there so. are so, so maybe you could run a couple of those with this kana mm -hmm. you can combine it it definitely helps yeah once you reverse one thing with this kana it just kind of snowballs um yeah. so yeah and even if you just get one reverse off with her it's pretty good disrupt your opponent's back row too mm -hmm. and you get to plus um yeah makes it a lot better for sure mm -hmm. Which, uh, very much appreciated and it's just a rare too very nice next up three two Rico and Kana. If you have two or less climaxes in your waiting room, this gets minus one level in your hand. Experience four plus one K. And 
when she's played on stage from hand, you can look at the top X cards of your lib or of your library, where and choose one, add it to your hand, and X is how many human or dragon characters you have. So this card, I think it's all right. It goes along with uh, the level three kana. You can grab the events or climaxes. Um, the early play condition is not the easiest, but it's there. And uh, yeah. I, I think as long as that level three kana comes out, this is a decent early drop. It's okay. For sure. The kana build is starting to kind of build itself. Um, Bushiro is fairly straightforward and telling us how to build it. Kana doesn't have an the kana build doesn't have an early drop, so clearly this is designed for that. It also pluses you on play, which makes your hand size bigger because we know the level three kana is gonna need um, all the hand size you can get. So fairly strong for that build, but I think in the Toru build, which we think is probably going to be the strongest build, yeah, uh, you're not gonna run it. Yeah. But hey, it's just an R, so it's mm -hmm. good for in that regards. Mm -hmm. Next up, this. 3-2 Kana from the TD, yellow. Uh, during the turn that this was placed on stage from hand, at the start of your attack phase, you can send all other characters from both players' stage to the waiting room. And then she gets... Uh, when her damage dealt is cancelled, you can deal three. And this can happen one time per turn. And her other effect is when she attacks, you can discard two cards to deal one damage to your opponent. Mm. What's up? Just one? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's kind of a Hail Mary card. Uh, It's a tech yeah. if you want to run it. Kind of like the Hollow... I mean, we know Hollow Life has a card similar to this from their own trial deck. And it's a spicy tech in yellow. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this will do the same. Um, You... If you use all the effects, you technically get three attacks if the damage is canceled, right? On mm -hmm. attack, ditch two, that's one. Her own attack, if it gets canceled, three. So, um, you kill everything. Yeah, pretty funny Hail Mary, but but yeah, I mean, uh, use it if you want. We'll see, I guess. Uh, but I don't think Animal. Kobayashi really needs this. They have plenty of ways to burn. Yeah. It's a it's a cool level three TD card though. I think. So on to the thirtieth, we got some fairly simple cards. Uh, one o three five Toru. On play, she gets plus three k, so she's six five, and then uh she has a bond for the zero zero double R Kobayashi that we all know and love at this point. Uh, so this card is solid. Um, one o six five essentially, which is nice. And she discards Bond for a really great card. So definitely a viable one or two of in the yellow build. Nothing else to say. Nice. Very. Next up, we got this one old Toru and Eruma, the cutest couple. Um, 3-5 power. First effect, if all your characters are Toru and Eruma, she gets plus 2k. And her second effect is um, when she's played from hand to stage, when this card reverses an opponent's character by battle, you can pay one. If you do, choose a Toru or Elma in your waiting room, add it to hand. Um, I'm not really feeling this card. I think getting a full field of Toru and Elma is kind of difficult. Um, I think you're kind of forcing your deck to go a certain direction too hard if you're trying to fulfill this condition. Mm -hmm. Right, I can't think of too many good Elma ca mm -hmm. cards. Right, they're so all like the zeros. They have they're shown like no elements, so it's like all the zeros that are kind of good aren't really Toru either. Like there's so many Kobayashi ones, yeah, so many Kana and Riko ones, Irudu. Mm -hmm. It's just like gonna be so hard to even fulfill this condition with what's been leaked right now. Agreed. And then what you can't and the reward you get off this. When you kill something, you can pay one. I mean, just plus, that's good. But the targets, I mean, the Toru targets are great. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just too hard for her to be 5-5, five, five, honestly. So, yeah. I think there are much better costless secondary level 1 attackers you can be running over this. 
we'll see. There's so many blue cards that haven't been leaked yet and a few green. So maybe all the broken Elmas are in hiding. Maybe. I guess we'll see. Yeah. And next up, the good old plus two soul, baby. Broken. Next up, we got these pair of Torus that are actually really cool. Especially this first one. So first, we got this 3-2-10k green Toru. Uh, when she's played from a hand to stage, draw two, ditch one. Her second effect, when she attacks, you can ditch two. If you do, uh, send the bottom four cards your opponent's deck to waiting room, then deal X damage to your opponent, and X equals the number of climaxes you hit with her effect. Uh, I think this card is really good. Um, on play, draw two, ditch one. It's all right. It helps... Um, you know, fulfill her effect because she pretty much pluses you on play. And when you attack, you just ditch two and you can potentially deal a bunch of damage out of nowhere. So really strong card, I think. It's um it pluses you in hand. And her attack on attack effect is non-climax combo reliant. So definitely I think a great secondary finisher to use in any of the Kobayashi builds, honestly, if you can run green, why not? Plus you enhance size, which Kana needs, can help you search for climaxes uh, to game end. Uh, what's not to love? Card is dope. Yeah, mm -hmm. super dope. Next up, we got another level three from the TD. Um, two effects, when we play for to stage heal. Second effect, uh, when she reverses an opponent's character by battle, you can pay one, discard a card if you do deal one to your opponent. Honestly, not bad, especially for a TD card. And keep in mind, this can work during your opponent's turn. But I do think it's kind of overshadowed with what we've seen in the set, especially in yellow. Maybe if this was like in blue, maybe, or like, you know, because mm -hmm. we haven't really seen too many good blue level threes. But nonetheless, uh, it's a fine TD level three. But I don't know, not good enough. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. These, sorry, I was gonna say, <laughs> these are the sleeper OP cards. Uh huh. There's a reason why they showed these on Friday. Yep. This is it's crazy. First of all, this one o, Idudu and Taketo. Uh, if you have two or more characters with Idudu or mm. Taketo in its name, this gets plus one k. And on attack, you can pay one to double trigger. Is green. Um, this card has an easier condition than that one, you know, Todu and Elma, because it only requires two other characters, which is way easier. Um, so it's five five base most of the time in these decks. Double trigger is all right. It has it on its own, so it doesn't rely on anything else. It's a pretty, it's decent. It's, it's all right. I think it's fine. Yeah, for sure. It's more designed for like, you know, more aggressive decks that want to constantly trigger like mm -hmm. gold bar or pants every turn. So that way you could keep spamming them, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so in the green and blue builds, I think it's good. But, um, you know, the red and choice, not really feeling it. Yeah, I don't think it'll fit well. Yeah, but a gold bar, clearly what they're going for. Mm -hmm. It's OK. It's good. This level zero it Uh on play, if you have two or more other human or dragon characters, you can draw one, discard. And she has a climax combo with stock one soul. At the end of this card's attack, if you have the stock one soul in play and you have six or less cards in your hand, you can pay one to send one of your other characters on stage to the waiting room, then choose a character in your hand whose level is equal to or lower than your level plus one and place it on stage in any slot rested. At first, this card seems garbage because <laughs> it's a pseudo standby. You're playing from your hand. You're killing one of your own characters. And you need six or less cards. And you need six or less cards. It's level zero. It's 1,500 power. This card seems terrible. I know. However, there are a lot of cards like that Toru earlier this week. And there's also one old Toru where they 
when they're sent to the waiting room, you can pay two to plus, essentially. So you get something out of killing those characters. Those are good targets. It seems terrible, but trust me, I've been thinking long and hard. <laughs> there are ways to make this work, and I'm definitely going to build this. And to continue off of this, the last card for that day is this 2-1 Taketo. 2k in front to level 3s. When your opponent uses a Brainstorm, if a Climax is sent to the waiting room by that Brainstorm effect, you can choose one of your characters and it gets plus 2k power. And you can rest him uh, as long as you have the double R 3-2 E to do, the green one. You can look at two cards from the top of your deck and put them back on top in any order. So this Takato is actually kind of neat. As far as a 2k in front assist goes, I think this is a very good option so far, especially, I mean, for the E to do deck. That's what they're going for, right? Um, you're able to top check. Control your triggers with her is pretty important, I think. Yeah. For damage. She, mm -hmm. she needs to hit a character for the burn. Mm -hmm. And since the level 0 E to do also draw ditch on play you can draw into a card if you need to there's a lot of things you can do oh smart my friend with looking at this card so and on top of that the brainstorm effect is nice i mean have we seen something like that anti-brainstorm I, I don't remember right i thought they were getting rid of those anti-fun cards right like anti-salvage anti-heal yeah. and now they got I guess not. Anti brainstorm. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it's not the end of the world when it pops off too, unlike yeah. anti salvage before. Um, so it's still kind of balanced. I think maybe they're trying to be a little more um, what's the word, hesitant or a little more timid with this anti brainstorm effect. Uh, but if it, mm -hmm. I mean, when it goes off though, it's always good, right? So, yeah. Um, I think this card is cool. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's a it's a good level two. And I'm stoked for that EDU deck, so <laughs> I, I like this card. Uh, but yeah, so with this last day, the EDU build is kind of neat. You can get it out a little earlier. There's a lot of cards that make up for stock, that make up for the hand to get to the end of that build. Um, kind of, I was hoping that this Taketo would also work in a Kana deck. Because being able to look at top two in that build would be so sick. But it sucks. Oh, well. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I think uh, there is so much potential here. Because we wanted standby. Well, I want standby in general. And standby for the Kana would have been great. However, there are some positive sides to this combo. It's stock one soul, so you're getting extra damage in um the it's not too heavy on the stock since it'll pay for back for itself there's that level zero todu that you can get stock with so i think there might be ways to keep up your hand and use this combo getting extra damage getting uh higher level cards out on stage i think there's gonna be something sick here i mean it sounds neat, but how are you just going to survive? Where are you going to run? Four stock souls and four of your game ending? Yeah. It's, but no plusing level one climax combo? Mm hmm uh, I guess. Just four of that Todu <laughs> level zero? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I do see the potential in this, but it's just... It's going to be a little shaky. They're going to get... Uh... Pay one clock plus two. You think so? They but bet. those are double R's. Oh no, they're not. Hollow Life has one that's common. They have to. They have to? But if you have too much hand size, then you can't use her effect. This card sucks. Uh you get the plus two on your uh, attack base, so this would actually still work with that. Yeah. But then you have no board press presence. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. No, there's going to be a level one that combos with this stock soul as well. Okay, that now be busted. <laughs> that will be busted for sure. No, there'll be there'll be something. They're just they're just waiting to the last minute <laughs> to give us 
the real juicy stuff for the set. I hope so, dude. The Mushroom don't give a fuck anymore. They want us. They show in the beginning now, so you can pre-order more boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's what they're doing now. We know all the double R's are fucking Niji. That's yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, they don't give a fuck anymore. Damn it. Why? <laughs> No! This is the end! <laughs> Fuck next week! There is no good build in Kobayashi. <laughs> Set it dead. Don't suck. pay Ami Ami your money. Cancel your pre orders. Just fucking get Tolman. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Pretty cool week. <laughs> <laughs> Some spicy stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for that Taketo. And um, Iridu. more, yeah, the Iridu and the Kana deck. You're excited about all of those decks that I don't care about. Probably because it's not my set. Oh, uh, you know, yeah. I just want to kind of screw around with it, but you're getting like sweaty over it, you know. I need that yellow build to be. To be right now, I'm running that Kana, that level one, which is not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I like that one zero today or this week. Yeah, it'll be cool. It'll be solid. I'm ready. I'm stoked. But yeah, guys, uh, one more week left. Hopefully, they can give us a lot of blue because we don't don't really know that the direction blue is going. So mm -hmm. we'll see, you guys. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. Peace out. Peace.